Hello Cloud Experts, Fellow Learners and AWS Enthusiasts. Welcome to today's video, the first in our AWS AI Practitioner Certification Bootcamp Training Series. In this series, we will cover all the technical details and hands-on labs needed for the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Certification. AWS recently launched this foundational certification addressing the growing need for AI skills, especially in generative AI, across all roles and education levels. While many paid courses are available on platforms like Udemy or AWS's own Skill Builder, however, AWS Skill Builder charge you $29 per month subscription. And this can be costly or time consuming. On the other hand, YouTube has many content, but often outdated or unfocused. At Cloud Expert Solution, our course bridges this gap. Follow our content, and you won't need any paid courses to pass the AI practitioner exam. We would like to request you, please review our course material and ask yourself, do you really need a premium course content? Or can Cloud Expert Solution be your go-to learning partner. We prepared this course to keep in mind for IT professionals intended to learn AI. Or if you intend to pass AWS certified AI practitioner exam. Or if your intention to learn AI services offered by AWS. If you also want to learn AWS Gen AI services like Bedrock, Party Rock, Amazon Q Business, Amazon Q Developer, then this is the perfect course for you. But if you are looking to learn how to use chat GPT or maybe how to generate image, music, deep fake videos using generative AI, or if you want a deep dive course on machine learning model creation and training, or maybe looking for AWS cloud compute storage or database deep dive, then we don't cover those topics in this course. We have different course to cover AWS cloud concepts, compute, storage, database, these services. If you find that you have gap, you can place your request as comment to this video and we'll be happy to create content for you. In terms of course outline, we have taken the course outline directly from AWS certified AI practitioner certification. Let's go to AWS certification website and see the content there and then we'll come back and tally these course outlines. For this, you can open any browser and type AWS certification. The first search option from Amazon Web Service AWS certification. Let's go there from Git certified menu. Please click on browse certification exam. Now, if you come to AI practitioner, if you scroll below, get to know the exam, then review the exam guide. This is a 19 page PDF document contains all the aspects of AWS certified AI practitioner exam guide. Starting from who are the target candidates for this exam? Exam content, there will be multiple choice questions. You have to select the one correct answer from the given four options. There will be multiple responses. You have to select two or three correct options from five or six given choices. Recently, AWS has launched some new question types like ordering, where you need to select a response and place in the correct order. There will be some questions where you need to match the response and also some questions related to case study. In the case study example, they will give you a scenario followed by four or five different questions from that scenario. One good advantage I found with case study type of questions that you do not have to read the question and understand for multiple questions. If you understand the question content for one, using that knowledge, you can answer consecutive four or five questions. Now we will concentrate on the topics that we need to cover for this certification. AWS broken the certification exam into five domains. Domain one, 
fundamental of AI and ML, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning, which has 20% of weightage of the given score. Domain 2, it covers fundamentals of generative AI. Domain 3, applications of foundation models. Domain 4, guidelines for responsible AI. Domain 5, security, compliance and governance of AI solutions. Now, they further broke down the domains and they have created task statements. Like domain one has been broken into three task statements. Task statement 1.1 covers basic AI concepts and terminologies. Task statement 1.2 identify practical use cases of artificial intelligence. Task statement 1.3 Describe the email development life cycle or the machine learning development life cycle and so on. Like this way, if you go through the document, you will see domain 2, subsequent task statements, domain 3, subsequent task statements, and domain 4, subsequent task statements. There is an appendix section where they lined out the in-scope AWS services for the certifications. What are the AWS services you should know on a high level? Also, they have listed out out of the scope AI services that is not required or you do not need any information to pass these certifications. In our course, we have mimicked these task statements. Let me go back to the PPT. We have directly taken those domains and the task statements from the certification and we created separate video for every task statement. For better maintainability and course management, we plan to create smaller videos. This way, if AWS updates the curriculum, we can update only the affected video rather than the entire course. Throughout the course, we will use real life examples, animations to make the session effective, interactive and easy to understand. If you encounter any challenges or have trouble understanding a concept, please note down the module and the timestamp and leave a comment. We will do our best to clarify it for you. Before we conclude the introduction module, we would like to request you, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon to get notification for any new topics, we regularly upload videos on different cloud offerings, microservices, DevOps, and many other topics. This was all for our introduction module. We'll see you in module 1.1, where we are going to cover basic AI concepts and terminologies.